Hey. Hey. What's your order? Uh, I just got here, actually. Okay. And look, uh, breakfast is on me. Oh, really? What's the occasion, big time? For you not getting arrested for going to Ferncliff last night to see Lucy Coe? Uh, uh, well, actually, I gotta tell you, it's not that big a deal. You see, when Jason and I were in prep school, I was kind of a master at sneaking out past curfew and, uh, I'm afraid some of those skills have stayed with me, so the hardest thing was just not, uh, getting caught by Tracy. So, yeah, it kind of did. Tracy, uh, found out you went to Ferncliff. Michael, come on. I, I told you I am the to world's you, worst uh, liar, okay? She knew you were going to make a play to, to Lucy to support you at ELQ. Well, Tracy is definitely going to make a play of her own now. Good morning, Mother. You call, and I answer. Caught the first plane. No hello for your firstborn? What do you say? Give me a smile. Good Lord. Give us a kiss. All these years, and I never realized you were one of the undead. These fangs are a business ploy. Ah, is it any wonder ELQ is thriving under your leadership? ELQ is doing just fine, and it will continue to do so as long as I am in charge. And how long do you think that'll last once this new goth persona gets out? The fangs are part of my plan to cement my hold on ELQ. Oh, this I gotta hear. I'm going to Franklin. And not a moment too soon. To visit Lucy Coe. Now that she's seeing vampires everywhere, I'm gonna make sure she sees just one more. And you contributing to the mental decline of an already unstable woman will cement your role at ELQ. How? Get off your high horse. Keeping Lucy batty is the only thing keeping AJ at bay. What does it really matter what Tracy's planning since we have Lucy on our side? Yeah, about that. Um, Lucy isn't exactly on board yet. Well, didn't you tell her that Tracy was planning to cut her out of ELQ? Oh, I did better than that. I told her that I actually believed her crazy story about the vampires taking over poor Charles. <laughs> Wait a minute, she gets hauled out for a psych evaluation before I can get her to sign over her 1%. Oh, no, that's probably best. You know, don't want to take advantage of her mental illness, right? Right. Um, but I did actually manage to meet another patient there who seems to think the ELQ is mine for the taking. Who? My spies at Ferncliff said that AJ was unsuccessful, which means he's going to try again today, so we need to neutralize him by keeping Lucy non compus mentis. Thereby rendering her vote worthless. Thus, the fangs. Thus, the fangs. Hmm. I greatly appreciate you having my back. Well, I'm glad you called. Wow. I don't think I've ever heard a son of mine say those words. Because if this is the best plan you've got, ELQ's chances of survival are non-existent. It may not be elegant, Ned, but it will prevent the family legacy from crumbling to dust in AJ's grubby little paws. Mother, you're overreacting. Lucy may be crazy, but she's not stupid. Even she knows AJ is a born incompetent. He can't run a toaster oven, let alone an international conglomerate. I don't know what happened to AJ when he was gone, but there is a possibility that he returned not the same screw-up he was when he left. Relax. Whenever AJ appears to be succeeding, it's a sure sign he's about ready to crash and burn. We can't afford to dismiss him. ELQ is vulnerable, and so am I. Heather Weber, are you serious? I get it. She's a, a character. Out of a I'm... horror film. You saw her holding a knife to Sky's throat on Thanksgiving, didn't you? Yes, okay, I get it. She's a potentially lethal whack job, but these are extraordinary circumstances. No circumstances are worth trusting Heather. Now, wait a second. Wait a second. You don't know that. Heather seemed to have the inside track on ELQ, and since Lucy Coe has become a less than reliable co-conspirator, I, I just think it's smart business sense to listen to what she has to say. I'm going to regret asking this, but how in the world could Heather help you gain control of ELQ? Okay, if you hate the fang idea, come up with something better. I'm open to alternatives. Actually, I do have one. Enlighten me. It's a little outside the box. I can't wait. You may hate it. 
I can't hate it if I can't hear it. Spit it out. Okay. My idea is... Step aside. Just give up BLQ. Let AJ take over. Have you lost your mind? What strategic knowledge could Heather possibly have about a Yoku? Hey, look, I was ready to blow her off and fly the, the cuckoo's nest. But then she started talking about grandfather's will. And again, how, how could she possibly know anything about that? Well, she claims that when she crashed Thanksgiving, that she actually read it. And she says that there's something in that will that will give me some serious leverage over Tracy. What kind of leverage? I don't know. I, I've read that thing backwards and forwards, and there, it, there doesn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary to me. And she didn't give you anything else to go on? No, she said she wouldn't do that unless I gave her a little incentive. She'd give you the keys to EOQ in exchange to the keys for Ferncliff. I don't know. You know, it's like, I think she just wants a friend. You know, someone to be her advocate on the outside. You're not going to be Heather's friend on the outside. Come on. Michael, I might not have any choice. You have a sane choice. You need to stay far, far away from this woman. I appreciate your concern, but doing uh, business with Heather Weber, that might be a necessary evil. Did you know that uh, all of last year, Heather tortured Sam and Jason? Okay, come on, that, that's that got to be uh, a little dramatic, right? Did you know that Jason had a twin brother? Yeah, Mom told me some artist, a guy named Franco. Yeah, and did you know what he did to Sam? I read about it. But what does it have to do with me doing anything with Heather Weber? When Jason and Sam were trying to figure out who Danny's biological father was, Heather tampered with the DNA results and made it look like Franco was Danny's father. So they tried to make Sam believe that she was carrying a rapist baby? Yeah. The night Danny was born, Heather helped Star's dad switch Danny for another baby that died. But why, why would she single Sam out like that? Because she forgot to deliver a letter. Wait, what? She what? She forgot to... Heather was afraid she'd get caught, so she was going to jump off the roof of the hospital with Danny in her arms. Look, I can go on and on about all the crimes this woman okay, committed. I get, I get it, I get it. You know, being involved with Heather Weber is... It's not going to happen. Risky. It's oh. not going to happen. Because don't, if, you, if you go into business with Heather Weber, I can't be a part of it. I can't do that to Danny or Sam. Okay. I hear you. Good. And look, we'll find another way to make you part of the OQ. We, we don't need to work with a murderer. What about another murderer? What do you know about Johnny Sakara? Johnny Sakara. Are you serious? I know Johnny caused the accident which killed Star's family. Yeah, I'm supposed to explain to Star that I'm going into business with Johnny. I know this isn't great, but the longer this battle goes on with Tracy, the fewer options we have. And if I can't work with Heather... If I can't work with Heather Weber, I may have to work with Johnny. Why, Johnny? Um, a while back, Sky gave me some information that linked Tracy to the Salido crime family. Tracy was married to Gino Salido for like five minutes. What does that have to do? Well, because she managed to figure out a way to funnel some dirty money into ELQ to keep it afloat. I mean, she would be in a world of hurt if the SEC ever found out about that. Okay, then why not just go to Sky and get the information? Sky gave the information to Anthony Sakara, who then used it to blackmail Tracy into marrying him. And she thinks that Johnny got the evidence when Anthony died. Uh, and if I can figure out a way to get it out of him, then... You'll have enough leverage to get Tracy out of ELQ. Exactly. I just need to figure out the best way to approach Johnny. I'll do it. I know what buttons to push. No, no. Michael, listen to me. I, do, I don't want you getting your hands dirty in this. We don't have that much of a choice now, do we? Besides, I know where to handle myself. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, well, you can thank me when I get results. Okay, partner. I'm not out of my mind at all. I think it's a perfectly reasonable plan. Traipsing around Europe managing cut-rate cover bands has ruined you. You are disloyal, muddled, and worst of all, soft. If I wasn't such a softie, I wouldn't care so much about the toll this worthless war for ELQ is taking on you. Worthless? ELQ was my father's heart and soul. And grandfather is gone. He can no longer give or withhold his approval anymore. There's nobody left to prove anything to. You can finally unshackle yourself from ELQ and start over. On your own footing. Why, why, why fight for a company that's given you nothing but grief over the years? Because I worked my entire life for it. It is my birthright. 
And I deserve a hell of a lot more than a jar of pickle Lila relish that my father left me. He may not have thought I was capable of taking the reins by myself, but I have the reins by myself, and I'll be damned if I will relinquish them to my incompetent, treacherous nephew. I need my son on my side. So if you're with me, get on board. If not, step aside. ELQ is mine to run, and woe be to anybody who gets in my way. What's it gonna be, Ned? You with me or against me? Of course I'm with you. You're my mother. So why do you keep telling me to step aside? Because even if you manage to put AJ back in his place, you could still get hurt. And I just don't want to see that. Don't you know by now I don't get hurt? Okay. All right, well, let's get down to business then. First, we need to identify where you might be vulnerable. And then, we come up with a strategy to beat AJ back into the ground. At the moment, my only weakness is Lucy. All the other boats are locked up. Are you sure? Are you sure there's nothing else out there that could hurt you? Tara, got a visitor. Michael. What are you doing here? I need your help. I'm only susceptible via a shareholder coup. Then we have to make sure your spies at Ferncliff keep AJ away from Lucy. I'll get him on it. Great. OK, that'll give us a few extra days until Lucy's legal status is determined. Now, if she's found to have diminished capacity, then her vote belongs to you. But if she isn't, then we need to go on the offensive. We need to attack AJ and Michael. Divide and conquer. Forget about Michael. He's nothing without AJ. Find AJ. See if you can figure out what tricks he has up his sleeve. Meanwhile, I will let the dogs out. Do I want to know what you've got planned? A little subcontracting. Much as I would like to crush AJ myself, there is somebody better qualified for the job. Hello! It's Tracy Quatermain. <laughs> it's lovely to talk to you too, Sonny. 